hello everyone it's Lee here hope you haven't had any food comas over the Christmas break um, I don't think I could face any more ham for uh, probably three Christmases anyway we're up to the very last project in 2023 to Femaremba the prompt for this one is me and my crush and for me I thought I'm relating this totally to junk journaling and ephemera and I'm going to highlight a couple of the things that I really enjoy using so brown paper is one of them uh, mediums is another so I've got some sand medium there uh, inks of course my sewing machine I don't know what I would do without my sewing machine to uh, put special touches on all my creations or most of my creations so what you can see me making here is one of these crushed flowers uh, basically just crushed up a square of paper sort of formed it into a round shape and then I stitched around it with the sewing machine and now I'm applying some of this um, texture medium the sand texture medium and I've added some ink to it just to put a little bit of color in there and they're going to be my flowers when I've finished with them so I'm going to add some gold watercolor which is another of my favorite things to use and I'll also add white gesso okay so I'm quite happy with the way my flowers have um, turned out so I'm going to be putting them on a belly band which I'm going to make from book pages another one of my favorite things to use okay so here I am adding the white gesso yeah so I'm making a belly band out of book page and then I'll put music sheet over the top of it another one of my favorites and then I'll add some lace which is another one of my favorites I'll do some stitching and some gluing and some more stitching anyway I'll um, let this roll on and I'll just pop in every now and then to let you know what I'm doing Now that book page is four layers thick because it's two pages glued together and then folded in half so it's four, four layers thick and then I'm going to add that music sheet on top so that'll give it like another two layers of paper so that'll be six layers thick so it's going to end up nice and sturdy probably about the thickness of a thin cardboard so I'm just going to trim off the music paper and then I'm going to ink around the outside of this so what I'm doing here is just having a look to see what I think of what the flowers look like against the music paper um, and this is when I decide that it needs a little bit of contrast and I get my black soot distress oxide and ink around the outside I've decided that I want to add a piece of this lace to the front of the bookmark so I'm just cutting a piece off I'll glue that on and then I'll stitch around the edge of it Thank you. 
At this point I've stitched around the edge of the belly band and I had another look to see what I thought of the flowers against the lace. So I have decided that I want a little bit more contrast on the flowers. So I'm using this mica spray which is the um, colour fortune teller which is a super intense purple and I'll um, put a few drops on that and then hit it with some water just to make it bloom a little bit. I let that mica spray dry and then I took these over to the sewing machine and I actually stitched the flowers onto the belly band with a zigzag stitch. So it, they're only held on in the very middle so they're quite um, you know mobile, they move around a little bit. So happy with the way this is shaping up so far and in the middle I would like to add a little bit of um, cheesecloth and a button so I'm just using one of the big needles that I do my uh, binding with to sew on a button in the center of each of these flowers. I nearly make a big mistake there and put the, <laughs> the needle through without putting it through the button but I realized and corrected myself. I have to keep an eye on that all because it just disappeared. I went to use it and I couldn't find it so I'm watching very closely to see what happened to it. So once I get the stitches through I'm just going to um, tie that off on the back. So that's waxed binding thread that I'm, or waxed linen thread that I use for binding that I'm stitching them on with. So all the buttons are on now and I'm going to trim off the excess on the back and put some masking tape over the, uh, the stitching on the back. And the reason I'm going to do that is because it's a belly band there'll be things being pushed in behind that so I don't want any knots and bits of thread etc um, stopping anything from getting in behind it. So I put a little patch over each knot and then I run a length of tape down the whole belly band. So everything's nice and smooth at the back there. Okay, so that's pretty much the belly band finished. The only thing I need to do now is to pop it into my book. So I'm going to use Aileen's tacky glue to pop that in with. So before I run out of time, I just want to say a really sincere thank you from the bottom of my heart to everybody that's watched my videos every day. And I'm, that, that's a big thing, you know, like, I appreciate that you do that and you take the time out of your day to watch the videos, to hit the like button and to leave comments. I love the comments. I'm a bit behind with them at the moment so I do apologise to anyone who's left me a comment and thinks I haven't. I'm ignoring you so I'm not ignoring you. It's just that I haven't, with family commitments, had the chance to do uh, this behind the scenes work. But I've read the comments. I know they're there and I will respond. So this has been such a fun concept this time. Um, I really loved not having to do a video every day. It sort of took the pressure off and I was allowed, you know, allowed myself to be a little bit more extravagant. I think I started off fairly tamely, but um, towards the end I just got more and more and more <laughs> uh, experimental and, you know, like, really played with my um, my mediums and things so I hope you've enjoyed seeing all that and that it's given you some ideas okay so I'm just 
glued that on and I'm going to apply these clips to hold it in place while the glue sets. I did whip up a couple of quick journal cards that I'll just slot in there and um, we'll leave that to dry. So I will do a flip through of the entire book when it's, um, or, you know, in, the next, in my next video. So once again, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate that. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed and give me a thumbs up, leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video. And uh, I hope you enjoy making your projects and that I, uh, you know, you'll stick with this channel and I'm doing Junk Journal January, so that's something else coming up. And in the meantime, happy crafting. Thank you very much. Hugs and cheers from Australia. Hooroo!